Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to day 13 of Inktober. Today's tangle is called Phylloxy and it was created by Teresa Fessler. Um, I'll have her name and the tangle linked in the description. Okay, I'm using a calendar page that I printed out from my Facebook page called Let's Tangle and I just put it on regular copy paper, and I'm gonna do the tangle on the grid, and then I'm gonna do it on a larger piece of paper where I'm combining all of the tangles to make one big, beautiful tile with 31 tangles on it. Okay, so phylloxy is so fun, and there's many different ways to start it, um, but I'm gonna start with three of these letter C shapes. So a shape, here, here, and here. And when I say there's many different ways, I mean you can do this as a single, a double, four or five, whatever you wanna do. Okay, so now from here, we're going to go off of the bumped edge and we're gonna keep coming down to this point. So I'm gonna bump up and come down to the point. And then I'm gonna start in a little bit, bump up and go to that point. Point. And I keep going in a little bit more until I get to the bottom. Then I'm gonna do this side bump up, but then come into that point. Up and in. Always going in a little more and always going to that point. So last one here, going down a little bit, just keep making that curve shape until it fills up. So now from here I go to that original curve and I'm gonna come and curve down the opposite way. So this original curve here, and I'm gonna curve down that way, and this one curve that way. And then I'm gonna imagine where that next little curve I make, I'm gonna pretend like it comes out on this side, and that one comes out there. Now it looks like it's folding over. So I'm gonna imagine this one came here, so my next one's gonna come out and down, out and down. Does that make sense? Just basically mimicking and auroring that line right there. And that is phylloxy. It's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna switch to my larger piece of paper. Turned off my light. Okay, here's what it's looking like. I'm gonna to switch to a Micron PN plastic nib pen because it's a little bit thicker for this heavier paper. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Not good with my camera work, I apologize. Okay. So I have no plan. I just gotta kind of figure out where I wanna put a phylloxy. So let's see, I think I'm gonna fill in this area right here. And I start with that C shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the three again because I feel like I've got room right here to put three. So I'm gonna do the letter C, the letter C, and the letter C. And I put it kind of close because I'd like it to sort of bump behind an existing tangle. So I'm going to go up and in, and then I'm just imagining where these would come out the other side. Up and in, 
I like the repetitive motion of this. You have to focus, but not too hard. And one more. Remember to jump up a little bit when you do it. All right, now I get to take that first curve and I just make it come down the opposite way. And then I add in a couple little lines here as if those pieces are coming through. And over here. Oh, I love it, it looks so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna shade that just so you can see. To shade it, I'm gonna put a bunch of graphite down in the very center. And then I'm gonna come up on the inside of that first curve. And then on the inside of the next curve. And the inside of the last curve. And then I just push that out a little bit. Like that. So pretty. Okay, now I've got space to fill in around it. So what I'm doing on this whole piece here is adding little orbs. I'm going to go around to that orb, and then I'm just going to keep aura in it just to fill in some space there. And over here, I'm going to put a larger one because I've got room and aura that. Okay, let's do one more of these little guys. Let's put them up over here. And this time, I'm just going to do a double. So let's see i'm gonna go this way a curve here and a curve here go up and then down to that point so because i'm doing a double i've got a lot more room for these to continue down here like that. This one jump up and come down. I love when my tangles bump into each other. All right, now I'm going to imagine a couple more coming down and then I start going down small like that. Okay, and after that first curve, I come down the opposite way, down the opposite way, and then I just aura that curve, and it looks as though those are folding behind. Same over here, like that, and now I can do some shading. Shade inside that letter C because it looks like everything else is tucking in. And inside that curve. And some graphite in the middle. Get my tortillon. Push that out. And soften that one. All right, and then to finish it off, I just like to kind of connect it to other things. So how about on this side, I'm just going to aura that shape. Look at how that fills in right there. And over here, I can put a big orb. And I can aura that. And then in this space here, maybe I'll just fill it in with dark. 
I like to kind of do this as I go, just so my spaces are, are filled in and things look like they are connected. All right, there's our phylloxy. It's absolutely beautiful. We'll see you tomorrow.